I have been hearing and reading a lot of comments lately where people are saying my favorite YouTube channel has been shut down or terminated. I've been meaning to talk about this for a long time, so today we're going to discuss it. Before we get into the terminated channels, I must say, I always study the enemy. It's amazing how the young Turks, for many, many years, they have been throwing the F-bomb around like you would not believe. It was one of their claim the fame. You know, they owned a channel. We are the young Turks. We can use any language we want. And they, the point is, the young Turks will be able to get away with anything they want. They will throw the F-bomb around every day, and YouTube will not do a damn thing. So I must mention that the channels that are going to be terminated are us little guys. For example, four months ago, a very large YouTuber, he has over 50 million subscribers. That's right, PewDiePie. Not PewDiePie 2, but the original PewDiePie. He has now like 56 million subscribers. Now he did something that you and I would be smacked down from YouTube in a New York minute. Trust me, if I did what you did, PewDiePie did, I'd be gone in literally seconds. Now, he's got 56 million subscribers. He's not going anywhere. So this is the world we live in, where certain people can get away with things, but again, us little guys or us Gentiles, we're not going to get away with anything. Susan Wo 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 Jitsky is the leader of YouTube, and she has talked about the future of YouTube. So now we are going to discuss it. What is the future of YouTube? Well, many people might say I'm going off subject here to say that today Donald Trump called on a Chinese journalist when he was over in France Instead of calling on an American journalist, he called on a Chinese journalist. How does this connect to the story? Well, I believe that Americans, our voice is going to be shut down. You see, the leaders of the world, they want everybody to act like the Chinese. The Chinese do exactly what they're told. The Chinese journalists never get out of line. So was that a message? from Donald Trump for Americans to toe the line, don't ask any pertinent questions? Is that a message from Susie Wo 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 Jitsky? Don't say anything I don't like or I'll shut you down. That's really where we're at today. Our conversation is about YouTube channels being terminated and shut down at an alarming rate. So here we go. Maddie D for Truth his number two channel was shut down, and we're going to go into many of them. This is by no means a complete list. By all means, if you can add a name to this list, if you see a channel that I do not mention here, please do leave a comment naming the channel. I am trying to make a quick video on the subject. This is the 2017 YouTube purge. They are purging anybody who is not in line. Let's go into some other ones. Okay, Professor Doom. Now the reason why I first brought up the Young Turks and how they throw the F-bomb around at leisure is I believe the F-bomb might have been why Professor Doom's number one channel went down. Many of these people do have secondary channels, I do admit. And I will admit that many of these channels are breaking rules, maybe using other people's music. I, I am not going to leave that out of the equation that there are many YouTubers who are making mistakes using other people's music without permission. Uh, but I'm, I don't have time to go into that. I'm just saying I, I believe. I believe that there are is a crackdown. I believe there's going to be a 2017 YouTube purge. We are experiencing this. I have received way too many comments where people say my favorite channel got terminated. So we'll just quickly go through the list if you I don't know any hardly any of these channels Jake Paul channel terminated, but I did a quick list of all the channels that got 
terminated just this week. Now remember, if I did a research into this that goes months back, starting from January 2017, I would probably be here for two hours showing you the channels that got terminated. So that's what I am so alarmed about. What I am showing you today, this is just this week alone. And that's why I am so concerned. I will repeat, if somebody, and maybe somebody should do this, if somebody could go back to January 2017 and follow it all the way to December 17, and they would make a list of all the YouTube channels that were shut down, terminated, I believe that list would be alarming. It would be very, very long, and the video might go on for longer than an hour. We do not have that kind of time here. I have to quickly show you some of the channels. Zachary Hubbard. Now again, some of these may have broken the rules with using other people's music, and I understand that. You live and you learn. But I do believe quite a few are being shut down just because of what we believe. I repeat, I believe that many of these channels are being shut down because of what we believe our opinion doesn't match the snowflakes. That's troubling. When the snowflakes can go around and shut channels down. This is probably another alarming part. Is there a small group of people that YouTube is employing? Have, has YouTube employed a small group of snowflakes to go around and get channels terminated by flagging them? I don't know all the answers, but I am bringing the subject up because, again, we cannot be more alarmed of this trend. The 2017 YouTube purge. And it gets me thinking. Will Bravo Bamula be next? Possibly. I try not to use other people's music. I try not to use their music. So if they take me down, it's going to be more blatant. They're going to have to be more in your face. It's going to look bad for them. Because I try my best not to use the F-bomb. I try my best not to use their music, their material. But the fact is, they are coming after us. And I do expect them at some point in time to attack me, to shut me down, to terminate me. But I will leave a message for all of you people out there who are telling the truth. You must soldier on. You must continue to persevere. Only if you're telling the truth. But on the flip side, if you live in America, but you have a loyalty to a foreign power, well, go ahead and give up. Go get a waiter's job. Serve your master well. But I will leave a message for anybody out there who knows the truth. You must persevere. Because the people in charge, people like Susie, whoa, 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 Jitsky, Jared Kushner, Donald Trump, and all the people who surround him, they literally want to shut you down. They want you to act like the Chinese. The reason why I showed the clip of Donald Trump picking the Chinese journalist, it was a metaphor. It was a message to all Americans. Be like the Chinese. The Chinese listen to their government. And that's what we expect you to do in America. There is a new world order. They are still out there. They are not giving up. They are not going to wave the white flag because they control the money. In the end, we will have to have our own platform. A Gentile platform. That is the answer.